iMovie for Mac is a powerful video editing software package, but it can sometimes be a little intimidating for beginners. In this article we gather our best tips to help beginners get started with iMovie for Mac, and some advanced tricks that will benefit experienced users. Most users of iMovie will be familiar with pressing the space bar to start and stop playback. In fact iMovie has a host of keyboard shortcuts to make your editing life easier, and many of these are the same for higher-end professional editing systems like Final Cut Pro X. 1. Next time you're editing, try some of these shortcuts out. Press 1 for Media View, 2 for Projects, 3 for iMovie Theater. L plays your video forwards, J plays your video backwards, K pauses playback. Holding K and J or L plays your video backwards or forwards slowly, whilst tapping J or L multiple times shuttles through at higher speeds. This works in the browser or timeline. I and O marks a selected range on a clip in the browser. E quickly adds the selected clip to the end of your project. Q adds the selected clip as connected media wherever your playhead is in the timeline. W inserts the selected clip into your project. CMDB cuts the selected clip on the timeline. When you look back at all your footage there are always going to be the clips you like and the clips you loathe, such as when you forgot to turn the camera off. Using ratings can help you filter your clips easily. Whether you are in the media view or reviewing footage in the browser in project view, use the heart and cross below the viewer to favorite or reject the selected clip. Favorites will be highlighted with a green bar, rejected clips with a red bar. You can now use the filter menu at the top of the browser to choose to hide the rejected clips, so you don't see them, or simply display only your favorites. You can also just view any clips you have rejected in case you want to assemble a blooper reel. Quickly add favorites using your keyboard by pressing F, reject clips by pressing backspace. Don't worry, iMovie won't delete the clip. And if you change your mind later on, you can unrate a clip by pressing U. For extra credit, you can add ratings just to portions of a clip by making range selections. 2. iMovie for Mac Tips, Change Settings You can adjust the size of your video clips in the browser to make them easier to see and work with. Click the cog icon to access the browser's thumbnail appearance. Here you can adjust the clip size to make the thumbnails larger or smaller. You can also adjust the zoom size of the film strip. The number below the slider represents the approximate duration of each thumbnail in the film strip. Enabling the show waveforms option here is very useful too. Your project timeline also has similar settings in the settings menu at the top right of the timeline window. Here you can adjust the clip size in your timeline, apply themes and enable automatic titles and transitions. You can also apply a project-wide filter to give your entire video a particular look. 3. iMovie for Mac Tips, Variable Speed Changes We've all used the speed control to slow our video for dramatic effect or speed it up for comedic value. But you can also use it to adjust the speed of sections of your video. Hold down the R key on your keyboard and drag out range of the portion of the clip in the timeline you want to adjust. Don't worry if it's not 100% correct, you can adjust it later. Now, select the speed control option and adjust the speed as you like. This will only apply that adjustment to the selected range. Ensuring the smooth option is checked means you'll get a smooth transition between the different speed segments. If you need to make further adjustments, clicking on the hair or tortoise icon allows you to customize that speed section further. Alternatively, dragging on the circular handle allows you to manually adjust the speed for that section of the clip, whilst dragging on the film frame icon allows you to change the point at which the speed change occurs. Remember to check the preserve pitch option if adjusting the speed of audio. Need your video to pause at a particular frame? Select the clip and press option F to create a freeze frame at that point. 4. iMovie for Mac Tips, Color Matching Shots iMovie has a good number of color correction tools for adjusting shots either individually or as a selected group, but it can be quite fiddly to try and match one shot to another by eye. Select the shot you want to match, 
Then click on the color balance control at the top of the viewer and choose match color. Now, skim to the shot you want to match the selected shot to, either in your timeline or browser. Find an appropriate frame and click. iMovie will try its best to match the brightness and color values. If you're not happy with the results, try skimming to another frame and clicking again. The change isn't applied until you click the blue tick box. Sometimes the change might not be immediately obvious. Try toggling the match effect on or off to see the difference. Remember, you can still make further adjustments using the normal color correction controls. 5. iMovie for Mac Tips, Audio Mixing Getting your audio right is so important in video editing. When adjusting audio levels make sure you don't go into the red on the waveform. This will indicate that your audio is going to be clipped which will sound bad. To make quick audio adjustments, you can use the controls in the volume options. Try setting the clip level to auto before making further adjustments. If you want to reduce just a portion of the audio, for example, to bring a loud section down, or to dip the music below someone speaking, hold down R whilst dragging out a range, then grab hold of the volume bar and adjust the level of that section of audio by adding keyframes. These keyframes can be individually adjusted later and you can create others by holding the option key when clicking on the volume bar. Finally, you can apply fades to any audio clip by dragging on the face handles, very useful for quickly fading sound effects and music clips in and out. Please like and subscribe our channel for lots more tech videos.